Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming, the uh, Friday opener in about 27 minutes at 5.55. Friday's a live eight races. How about these carryovers, ladies and gentlemen? Absolutely huge. Third race, 20 cents, single six, a jackpot in excess of a quarter of a million dollars. Late pick five carryover, better than $111,000 in the fourth. We've got a super high five carryover, just shy of 39 k in the nightcap. So all sorts of great carryovers for this Friday card. Let's get right into the changes and the opener. Scratch four hammer and jammer, four hammer and jammer. Out of the opener, five spicy tuna, one pound over as always. The opener will begin the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. And there they go. Varsity Doll begins the best. Spicy Tuna shows good speed from her inside. Liturgia attends the pace, likewise for strong demand from the far outside. Miss Savelli is advancing along the rail. She's fifth, about two lengths from the front. I'm going to the favorite, Video Princess, who races outside of My Gal Justice. Very compact group. We'll call it about four lengths from first to last. Spicy Tuna with her head in front. Varsity Doll from between gals. Liturgia is pushing three deep. Strong demands committed to a four-wide run, heading into the three-eighths far turn run. I'm going to miss Savelia, my gal Justice, and Video Princess is three deep. She's at the back marker with four links to make up. Now she begins to close in gradually. So it is Spicy Tuna with the lead. Strong demand turns up the pressure. Liturgia from between gals. Video Princess has continued to improve her position to the far outside. She has run at the top of the lane. And here comes Video Princess to the extreme outside. And Video Princess is making her move. Spicy Tuna clings to the lead. Video Princess has her number, though, to the far outside. And here is Video Princess from last to first in the opener. Spicy Tuna second. Then Strong Demand and Liturgia. Nice crowd on the apron, and they're all excited with the chalk coming through in the opener. Video Princess with that big move. You could see she was the one to recognize through the far turn. And despite the soft flow of 23-39 and 47-43, I'm old school. 23 and one fifth, 47 and two fifths. Video Princess was able to make that big circling move. And she's the best in the opener as the big favorite. Five spicy, two in a second, third place, eight strong demand, fourth place, seven liturgia, three, five, eight, seven, unofficially in the opener. Video Princess is in the winner's circle, a four-year-old of a filly by Cantharis out of the Pioneer of the Nile Mare, Princess Vero. You gotta love this ownership. My wife's gonna love this, LLC. If not, David, you'd be sleeping on the couch. Cloud of Brownfield the third is the winning uh, trader, and the winning jockey is Albin Jimenez. They won the Wednesday opener, Claude and Albin. Winner bred in Kentucky by uh, John Dickin along with a Nursery Place. My wife's going to love this LLC. Indeed, Video Princess in the opener. Exact to $20.80, the trifecta $28.47, 10 cent super $15.31, dollar superfecta $153.14. Second race will begin the early pick four, scratch number nine, Whiskey Sis. Six My Rosie has an additional workout, High Point Farm and Trading Center, 22nd of March, half mile move, 52 seconds, breezing over a fast track. The second race is in 24 minutes at 625. And there they go. Queen of Chill towards the tail. Pink Party Pants and My Rosie begin the best. Bellaria is forwardly positioned. Renaissance has the fourth spot. Queen of Chill with a quick recovery from between gals. From her outside is Blazingly. Rolston's from her inside. And I'm going to miss Getty Up. And Dr. Bella is the early trailer. Quite a scrimmage for the top spot. My Rosie leads three other gals. Renaissance from the inside. Also up close to the action is Pink Party Pants. There goes Blazing Lee. Belle Audrey is in a tight spot from between gals. She's only a length or so off the lead. Awkward step there for Pink Party Pants. Sticking with the leaders. Blazing Lee has the lead. My Rosie is second. Loose Horse is carrying Queen of Chill out there into no man's land. They're going to Renaissance. Rolston. Pink Party Pants. Dr. Bella. 
Nothing from Miss Getty up. Blazingly has come away with the lead. The loose horse is causing all sorts of issues up front. It is Blazingly with the lead approaching the 16th. Here comes Pink Party Pants, and here comes Dr. Bella to the far outside. Pink Party Pants and Dr. Bella. Dr. Bella! Dr. Bella from Pink Party Pants. Got a feel for Blazingly. The loose horse might have cost her the victory. And I'm going to Rolston and my Rosie. 112 and 22 100s. Fans, make sure to hold all of your tickets. The inquiry signs up on the board. Stewards want to see what happened through the far turn run. Once again, fans, inquiry sign is up on the board. There's Dr. Bella, front and center. Looks like she gets the photo right there with her pink party pants and blazingly. Stewards want to see what happened through the far turn run. One twelve and 22 100s, the final time. Here is Monica Grumman. Winning at trainer is William Helmbrecht. And the winning jockey is Tiago Canuto. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Sun Valley Farm and Friends of Ruli. Once again, fans, make sure to hold all tickets. Inquiry sign remains up on the board. Exact at $99.94, the trifecta $265.61, 3 8 early double, $23.84. 10 cent super, $310.94, dollar superfecta, $3,109.48. Third race will start the 20 cent single six jackpot, a massive carry over this evening, $226,132.88. Tonight's third race scratch, eight more hot sauce. Eight more hot sauce scratch from the third. Number nine, Rum Tum Tugger. Blinkers on, blinkers on the nine, Rum Tum Tugger. And there they go. Decatur Street is out for the lead. Reisenberg from his outside. Stellar Vito amongst the early leaders. Also there is Patch O'Brien. Here comes Sky Key working away from the inside. New spell three wide. Rum Tum Tugger from the extreme outside. Aspiring comedians at the back. And look at Reisenberg just speeding away. Reisenberg, he is footloose and fancy free, building up this huge lead. Stellar Vino is second with Patch O'Brien. They're about 10 lengths behind Reisenberg, who arrives at the 5'8". Rum Tum Tugger is in the fourth spot. A length and a half to Decatur Street. Three parts of a length, new spell. Almost a length back to Sky Key. An aspiring comedian is the last of all. And Reisenberg is absolutely flying up front. 23 seconds sizzling pace from Reisenberg. Works with a big lead. 46 and four fifths. He is coming back to his rivals. In the second spot, Patch O'Brien along with Stellar Vino. New spells currently in the fifth spot. He gets within five past the five sixteenths, and he is closing in. Reisenberg's going to call it an early evening. And from the outside is Patch O'Brien with Stellar Vino. New Spell is gliding into contention from the outside. And here comes New Spell. Decatur Street is also in the battle. So to his Rum Tum Tugger. New Spell to tackle Patch O'Brien. Stellar Vino from the inside. Stellar Vino and Patch O'Brien. New Spell is now a little even paced. He's under left-handed urging. He's not going to get there. It's either Stellar Vino or Patch O'Brien. Stellar Vino and Patch O'Brien. Who wants it more? Patch O'Brien. Patch O'Brien from Stellar Vino. New spell looked like he was going to roll on by at the quarter pole. Flattened out, settled for third. Fourth place, Decatur Street. All right, a five to one upsetter to start this 20 cent single six. Patch O'Brien. Finishing in front of both the Calumet runners, Stellar Vino and New Spell. 138 and 29 one hundreds. Reisenberg and Perry Utes. They went out and just set a sizzling tempo, 23, 46, and four fifths. You knew they couldn't last with that top spot. It was seven Patch O'Brien and Stellar Vino in the perfect spot, moving into the scene together. Seven Patch O'Brien, the unofficial winner. Six Stellar Vino, second, third place, four New Spell, fourth place, two Decatur Street. Kindly retain all mutual tickets until results have been declared official. In the winner's circle is Patch O'Brien. Patch O'Brien is a three-year-old of Bay Gelding. Let's get those blinkers off for this photo. There 
is Patch O'Brien. Three-year-old Meg Elding by Palace Malice out of the Giants Causeway Mare of Alston. By Southwest Racing Stables Incorporated, along with Triple V Racing LLC. Gennaro Garcia is the winning a trainer. The winning a jockey is Zento Zanju. The winner was Brett in Kentucky by Brushy Hill LLC. There's 10 cent super, $25.20. Dollar super fact of $252.05. 387 early pick three, $69.68. 76 exact of $40.90. 764 trifecta, $28.66. 8-7 daily double, $48.24. Well, fans, the third race was just the first carryover on the Friday card. Here comes the late pick five, $111,806.53. Six and seven, both scratch from the fourth, Duke and Risky Choice. 13 draws in off the also eligible list. Oh, the weight is good. There was an original overweight. Hannah's made the 118, 13 first choice. Drawing in off the also eligible list, the weight is good. Or Captain Party, a jockey change to Germán Terraza. Ready for the late pick five. And there they go. Very slow start. First choice. First choice. Missed the start. Captain Party and Paul Masano fire out to the lead. Big taps in a good spot through the initial stages. Jack the Bird has the fourth spot. Then Royal Decadence. Chaps Knight. Boy Wonder a little deep heading into the first turn. After that, we have Cade's goal. Solidified gold from the inside. So it's Cade's goal outside of solidified gold. Every Loving Wish is second last, and first choice is the last of 11 after that slow start, and it is Paul Mazzano making the pace. Paul Mazzano's on the lead, heading into the backstretch run from Captain Party. Jack the Bird is third. Big taps in the clear, and he's up close enough. He's only two lengths from the front. Length and a half to Royal Decadence, three and a half off the lead. About a length and a half back to Chaps Knight. He's a little more than five off the pacemaker. From the outside is Boy Wonder. Solidified gold is the gray along the inside. I'm going to first choice. Cade's goal and every loving wish. Paul Masano confronted by Captain Party. Captain Party and Paul Masano are side by side. Big Taps been getting a super stocking trip in the Clary inches a little closer. Jack the Bird is still in the race from the inside. Royal Decadence is all in midway through the turn with three lengths to make up. After him is solidified gold. Every loving wish has improved his position. He's about six off the lead past the quarter pole. Chaps Knight from his outside. They're into the lane, and Captain Party has come away with the lead. Big Tap has been stalking smartly, and here is Big Tap. Big Tap tackling Captain Party. Captain Party's tough. Big Tap not going on by. Captain Party right back at him. Royal Decadence trying to pick up his stride in the late stages. That's Captain Party. Captain Party and Big Tap and Royal Decadence. Captain Party! Captain Party, I believe, hangs on. That was a thrilling stretch run. Right there with him, Big Tap and Royal Decadence. Then with every loving wish and Chaps Knight. Super stretch battle here in the fourth race, 146 and 61 one hundredths. I had Big Tap had every right to just go on by. How about the gutty effort from Captain Party? Captain Party, as soon as Big Tap came to him, he had some tenacity to him. He just kept fighting from that inside. Royal Decadence was trying to come and tag them both. The final 16th, pretty cool race, 146 and 61 one hundredths. Make sure to hold all tickets. Captain Party is in the winner's circle, a four-year-old gray own gelding by McLean's Music out of the Miz and Mask Mare, Sheer Beauty. Jockey Germán Terraza. Captain Party was bred in New York by Lakeland Farm. All right, exact to $28.82, to effect to $29.29, the double seven for $29.76. 10 cents super, $17.24. Dollar super vector, $172.44. 874 pick three, $93.64. Once again, the stewards are still sorting out that inquiry involving three, two, and eight. Moving on to the fifth race, which will start our late pick four, seven, 12, and 14. All scratch, satisfied split decision and lucky lesson. Seven, 12, and 14 out of the fifth. 13 draws in off the also eligible list. 9-0, click a jockey change to Tiago Canuto. Corrected weight, 125 pounds. 
Six Rose Darling, two pounds over the weight. Eight Golden Storm and 10 CC Grand, both one pound over. And the fifth race starts our late pick four, 21 minutes away at 8.03. And there they go. Quick start, zero click. Also, Astro Speed is stupendous along with Flores. They will pick it up inside of zero click. Flores and stupendous, one, two. And zero click comes away running in the third spot. Here's Go Go Gishin at the fourth position. It factors up close from the rail, four lengths off the lead. Length and half the Golden Storm, who races with Anna, almost three lengths to Midnight XO, Rose Darling, and CC Grand. About four lengths to Well Pollyanna, who's the last of all. 24 seconds that opening quarter. Stupendous and Flores continue to battle. Zero click sets up shop from third. It factor is into the race early, saving ground throughout. Only two off the lead. About two lengths back to Anna, who races with Gogo -Go Geisha. Two and a half to CC Grand with Golden Storm, a length in front of Rose Darling. Oh, Pollyanna, second last. Midnight XO's the last of all. And the pace battle continues between Flores and Stupendous. It Factor's been catching the eye throughout. She's along the inside, asked for her run. Zero click. Here comes Anna. Anna's making a nice steady bid to the far outside as five of them stack up. Zero click and Anna. And It Factor's into third. I'm going to Golden Storm and CC Grand. Dropping out of it is Flores. Stupendous is tired. It Factor's kind of not really coming up with her best run. It is Anna. Anna has the lead. Anna's the leader in the stretch. Past the eighth pole, Anna's the one to come and reel in. And chasing her is Golden Golden Storm, they go to CC Grand. Anna has kicked well clear. Anna is the winner from Golden Storm and CC Grand. I'm going to Stupendous. She hung, her hung around for fourth. After that, Opoliana, it factor. Not a lot of excuses. It factor couldn't really step up when she needed to. 139 and 75, 100 the final time. Number 11, Anna, 9 to 2. She came with her nice run through the far turn. Kept on going all the way to the wire under Alberto Burgos. In the winner's circle is number 11, Anna, a four year old, a four year old chestnut filly by Animal Kingdom out of the Learfan mare, Atara of Rose. By Jeff Zlanis along with Steve Goldfine. Jeffrey Greenhill is the winning uh, trader, winning jockey, Alberto Burgos. Anna was bred in Minnesota by Wendy Lee Farm, New York LLC. 11, 8, 10, 1, the top four finishers. That exact to $82.02, the trifecta, $164.38, the four 11 daily double, $25.32. Early pick four, $676.56. 10 cent super, $280.20. Dollar superfecta, $2,802.05. 7 for 11 pick three, $93.22. Early pick five, $870.92. Four out of five, $15.22. Race six starts our late pick three, two, three, five, and 12. All scratch, Divine Exchange, La Torista, Mizanash, and kick out the jams. Two, three, five, and 12 out of the six. 22 minutes away at 8.32. And there they go. And there goes Lady Hamilton, immediately out of the gate, claiming the lead. Botox Katie comes away running in second. They're going to Aunt Ruth Zig Zappa's into the race early this evening. She's normally from well off the pace, and she's only about two and a half for three lengths from the front. So it is Lady Hamilton and Tyler Cotter controlling the pace, and it's a soft one. Botox Katie is second, and Zig Zap is third. She will ghost you more than four lengths off the lead. I'm going to Lunar Ice. Lunar Ice is from between runners, and going with them also is Kit Can Run from the extreme outside. Aunt Ruth is second last in Addison. Is the last of all 25 and four fifths. So Tyler Connor got away with a very soft opening quarter with Lady Hamilton. Now they increase the margin to better than four lengths, just speeding it up a little bit. She will ghost you, making a move into second. Zig Zappa is from the outside. It's Botox Katie's from between runners. Kit can run and Lunar Ice are about six off the lead with Aunt Ruth. 
And towards the tail of the field is Addison. Half went in 50 and four fifths, so it's a good flow for Lady Hamilton. Not a lot of excuses this evening. She has two lengths on her rivals to the outside there in second. Is she will ghost you, Lady Hamilton, and she will ghost you. Lady Hamilton, the leader, she will ghost you, is going to try to turn up the pressure on her. Botox Katie comes under pressure. Likewise for Zig Zappa. I'm going to Lunar Ice far outside is Addison. It's Lady Hamilton past the eighth pole. Lady Hamilton with this soft flow. How do they come and get her? They're not. Lady Hamilton all the way. She will ghost you second. Addison from a long ways out of it into third. And Botox Katie hangs on for fourth for the Superfecta. Hard to win from off the pace when the front runner's going 25 and four, 50 and four, and 115 for three quarters. You knew Lady Hamilton was gonna be awfully difficult to handle this evening, especially when she got to that backstretch run. Nice ride by Tyler Connor, slowing down the pace. 10, she will ghost you. She ran as good as she could. She was the only one that gave Lady Hamilton a little bit of a look. Six Addison from a long ways out of it into third. Fourth place, seven Botox Katie. 139 and 38 one hundredths the final time. Lady Hamilton is a four year old of a filly by Lord Nelson out of the Into Mischief Mare. Pretty Owl. Owned by Gumster Stable LLC along with our Blue Streak Stable. Winning trader is Cipriano Contreras. Winning jockey is Tyler Connor. Hamilton was bred in Kentucky by Peachtree Stable. Super Vecta, $68.73. Dollar Super, $687.36. dollars 411 one pick three, $53.79. 110 Exacta, $29.50. 110 Six Trifecta, $82.71. 11 One Daily Double, $23.43. Seventh race will begin the late daily double. All sorts of stuff happening here in the seventh. A ton of scratches. One, four, six, eight, and 13. Big bolt continue. Time for a good time. Lodge Hill, so with tap. One, four, six, eight, and 13. All out of the seventh. Juan Machado, new jockey, number 10. Yizzy's bolt. 12 Margaret's lady, two pounds over. First leg of the late double, 21 minutes away at nine o'clock. Ready for the Phillies. Ready for the late daily double. And there they go. Partake is showing the best speed. East Stormy right there from her outside. Margaret's Lady from the extreme outside. And here is Go Go Star as four of them gun for this lead. And behind the leading four races, Frosty Tail. Izzy's Bolt is second last. And Our Girl Flint turning back in distance is the last of all. Go Go Star up to the front from Partake. East Stormy sitting a nice stocking trip in the clear from third. Margaret's Lady is only three lengths from the pace. About a length to Yizzy's Bolt, trying to advance from the extreme outside. Frosty Tail from the rail. Our Girl Flint with about six or seven to make up, heading into the far turn run. 22 and three-fifths. Here comes East Stormy to tackle. Go-Go Star partake from between gals. Partake has her head in front. East Stormy from the outside. Go-Go Star gives way. Margaret's ladies under a drive. Frosty Tails trying to quick it in. They go to Our Girl Flint along with Yizzy's Bolt. They're both trying to commence bids from that back marker. Partake's the leader. And to the outside comes Margaret's lady. Partake's the leader past the eighth pole. Kicking clear. Into second is Margaret's Lady. Frosty Tail makes a bid for third. East Stormy backpedals in front. Partake. Partake's the winner. Frosty Tail's up for second. Then Margaret's Lady. Yizzy's Bolt fourth for the Superfecta. Number seven, Partake at five to one with Walter Rodriguez. Forwardly placed throughout. Made a nice move from between gals. Proved to be the best. Good stride in the final furlong for Partake. 117 and 86 one hundredths the final time. Partake is a three year old Bay Philly by first samurai out of the Warfront Mayor of Mints. By Gemma Freeman. Title Town Racing Stables. Sarah Lockhart. Winning trader is Justin Wojanowski. Winning jockey, Walter Rodriguez. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Title Town Racing Stables. NBRS. The seventh is official. 7 5, a 12 10. A 
Got Super Facta, $110.09. Dollar Super, $1,100.97. $1,117 Pick 3, $67.99. 7.5 exact of $78.52. 7.5 12 trifecta, $130.93. And that 1.7 double, maybe $37.77. Not sure if I saw it correctly. Yep, $37.77. One more race to go on this Friday card, the Nightcap. Super High 5 carry over $38,650.67. 7, 9, and 13. 7, 9, and 13. All scratch. The 14 draws in. A couple of jockey changes. Three, Lieutenant Jack. German Terraza. Corrected weight, 115. Four, Agador Spartacus. Tyler Cotter, two pounds over. Super high five carryover. A little shy of 39,000. The nightcap, 22 minutes away at 9.28. And there they go. Raff is showing good speed from the far outside, and he makes the pace. There's four mama into the second spot. Also up close to the action is Merlin Song. Great Charmer comes away in fourth. And also up close to the tempo from between runners is Stretch Runner. Stretch Runners now outside of Agador Spartacus. Thalberg runs with them from the inside, then Secretary of War. He races with clearing waivers, and Lieutenant Jack's the last of all. Four Mama has the lead. Raff is in a good spot at 30 to 1, $300,000 for somebody if he can get it done. There goes Raff after Four Mama. And here comes Great Charmer making his big bid. Back to the fourth spot. Losing a little bit of ground is Merlin Song. We're going to Thalberg. Thalberg has about six to make up. Agador Spartacus goes with him along with Stretch Runner. They turn into the lane. Here comes Great Charmer. Great Charmer is making his move. Raff is really giving his backer a little bit of a thrill. But now it's all over there as Great Charmer comes away with the lead. Four Mama still with some stick and trying to re-rally is Merlin Song. Great Charmer at the 16th. From the inside is Four Mama. Four Mama right back at him. Four Mama and Great Charmer. Four Mama. Another one for Jeffrey Greenhill. Four Mama for, from Great Charmer. We go to Merlin Song. Secretary of Wars in that photo for fourth with Thalberg. And after them was Clearing Waivers. 117 and 13 one hundredths. So the top two in the wagering. Great Charmer, the favorite, and Four Mama, the second choice. Nice stretch battle between them. Four Mama, pretty resilient along the inside. Great Charmer right there. Four Mama. Five year old Bay Gelding by Can the Man out of the Nico Bay Mare. Sky High Sugar. By Basho on the stable. Training double Jeffrey Greenhill. Winning jockey, the Axeman, our leading jockey, Luan Machado. Indiana bred by Basho on the stables along with In Good Company Far. Our late pick for $368.90. 10 cent super, $70, 6 cents. Dollar super effect of $700, 63 cents. Super. That super high five is all about. We're going to have to wait a little bit for that one. How about the 510 exact of $29.86? Trifecta $30 and a penny. 7.5 late double $32.47. Pick six. $8,166.76. Massive carry over to closing night. $233,156.29. One seven five. Late pick three fifty three dollars seventy two cents. Late pick five thirteen hundred ninety three dollars four cents. Four out of five seventeen dollars fifty cents. And that super high five is worth four thousand nine hundred forty two dollars and seventy eight cents. News of the evening is all about closing night tomorrow. We are wrapping up the 2024 winter spring season. Closing night tomorrow. Mandatory payout in the 20 cent single six in the pool will be absolutely huge. That carryover, better than $233,000. That's a wrap on the Friday card. Fans, if you're into live music, venture on down to Bourbon and Brew all the way up until midnight. Live music by 
the Michelle Robinson Band. Michelle Robinson Band all the way up until midnight. Bourbon and Brew for all the live entertainment. Tomorrow is Fan Appreciation Day. We'll have free programs while supplies last. Players Club members can print a voucher at any promotional kiosk to redeem for a racing t-shirt. That's also while supplies last. We'll have carnival style games like Giant Jenga, Hornhole, Horseshoe, and so much more. So come on out tomorrow, closing night, and it's Fan Appreciation Day. Study up for the 20 cent single six jackpot. 555, first post tomorrow. Sure hope you had a great Friday when leaving the track. Please drive very carefully. This has been Racing from Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Good night, everyone.